So I got a tip for you that made my viewers on my live stream question their life choices. Didn't really. Now let's say you wanted to model along this plane, but you still wanted to kind of work on the X, Y, and Z axis, make your life really easy. I got you. So first up, I'm gonna add in a default cube. To make my life easier, I'm gonna go into edit mode and move the cube over into the origin point. From here, I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit and that'll make sense in a sec. Back into object, I'm gonna rotate this and kind of match up this angle with that plane. So if we kind of know our rotation point is here now, because that's kind of where we've set it, come all the way down to the other side and, hey, that's pretty good. With that object selected now, I'm gonna press Alt D, so not Shift D, but Alt D to duplicate. Let's go G to the X. From here, I'm gonna press Alt R to reset the rotation. And now you can see because these objects are linked, I can go into tab, into edit mode, and we can now adjust. So whatever we do on this object will now be represented on the other one. Yeah, and that's kind of like how I did all this. I mean, subscribe? That way. There, I think.